Um, hi guys, it's day 30 today. I, f I think it is anyway, um, which means I'm a f well, I'm a third of the way through my 90 day video diary challenge, which is amazing. I never thought I'd make it past five, to be honest. Um, does mean I've got another 60 to go, which is quite daunting, but I think I can, hopefully I can make it. Uh, and before I go any further, I just want to, I got told off yesterday by somebody who said they couldn't see what t-shirt I was wearing yesterday because the angle's too close. So I just want to make sure that I get it in today. So if you can see, it's kind of Banksy-esque panda, which I think is pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, I don't have 90 t-shirts that I can wear. I mean, that would have been pretty awesome if I had. Um, I do still have quite a few that you haven't seen. So I'll be cracking those out over the next week or so. Um, and who knows, maybe I'll make that a challenge that I, ha I do end up with 90 different t-shirts. How cool would that be? Um, I'm sure Fran will really appreciate it, all that wardrobe space. Um, so yeah, today, today's been pretty good actually. Um, so woke up first thing this morning, uh, decided to go for a walk along the pier in Hastings. And I think it's only been newly rebuilt quite recently. Um, it's quite like barren for a pier. There's not much going on there. I was quite surprised. There's no like amusement arcades or restaurants, cafes, or like a dance hall or, you know, or theater. There's nothing like you would expect from a pier. So that was a bit disappointing. Lots of random statues of animals. I don't know what that's about. There's like cows, sheep and hippos and pigs. It, yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Um, but it was nice to have a walk around. Um, what did we do then? Yeah, then we went to uh, visit the True Crime Museum in Hastings, which which was really, um, yeah, it was interesting, morbidly interesting. Um, I'm not sure it did my anxiety any good learning about all these weird and wonderful ways that people can, you know, rob, beat or kill you. Yeah, so, but yeah, like I said, it was morbidly fascinating to kind of see all this kind of paraphernalia and museum pieces that you had and video footage of like serial killers talking and stuff like that it was yeah i'm not sure uh, it, it's not it's not a family event let's put it that way um but yeah after that we went for a walk down to um the funicular railway i think i'm saying that correctly apologies if not so it's like one of these little trains that goes up a mountain or a hill big hill um that was pretty cool got to the top had an ice cream which is really nice. The weather's been amazing today. Like we've both been really shocked. It's ro it was roasting all day today. Once we got to the top of the hill, of course, I don't I, I don't wear sunscreen. You know, I never have forty one years of, of life, and I've I still haven't learned that lesson. Despite the fact that I've been burnt like pretty much every time we've gone away somewhere, I've ended up with really bad sunburn. And I lived in Australia for a year, so. The fact that I'm not, I haven't died from skin cancer by now is like a, it's a miracle. I don't know what's going on, um, but yeah, that's so. I don't know if you can kind of see in the video, but my face is a bit red. Um, I only really have two colours. I'm either white or red. Uh, that's the Irish genes in me. I've never had a tan in my life. The closest I've had to a tan is like my freckles on my arm get a little bit closer together. Yeah, that you can see those pretty well. I think. Um, so yeah, uh, and all the while, kind of like I was battling through, I still have quite severe gout, so popping quite a lot of painkillers, um, had to use some Dazepam, uh, again, it was crowded today, there's lots of people around, um, so I, I did get quite anxious for a little bit, but the Dazepam kind of helped, um, and yeah, then we had a really nice dinner, um, just near the hotel and then to the, uh, this evening Fran had booked us tickets to go and see it was like a James Bond experience so it's a band playing all the James Bond theme music and if you like James Bond and you like the theme music these guys were great they were called Cue the Music and I'd recommend them to anyone I, I loved it because I've discovered that I really like the Bond music but more than the films I'd say I, I don't know half the films but I know all the music because it's really good and this band they did like they pretty much did everything the whole back catalogue they missed out a couple of songs but it's okay um the only problem i had was i discovered to my detriment that you know i i appear to be right-footed when it comes to uh toe tapping along to music and my right foot's where i've got my gout so i've been like tapping away all night my foot's killing me now it's throbbing like mad 
Um, so I'm gonna have to have some more painkillers before I go to bed. Uh, probably put a cold flannel on my face, otherwise I'm gonna look like an angry tomato tomorrow um, when we're heading home. And But yeah, today it's been pretty good all around. Um, like I say, my anxiety levels kind of were up and down, but I managed to keep on top of those with medication and just with some breathing exercises and things like that. Um, but yeah, second day in Hastings, been pretty good. So I'll leave it there. It's been positive so far. Um, last night, this is my, this is what I got angry about today. Last night, a fire alarm went off at about half 11. Some dickhead has uh, like blown up a vape machine in his room and set off the fire alarm, which meant that we all had to leave the hotel, uh, wait for the fire brigade to come and clear the place out. Um, but yeah, it, it was a false alarm. It was just a vape that had gone off. Um, but yeah, it was really, really annoying. And I got really angry because I was just about to go to bed. My sleeping pill had kicked in, so I was knackered. Uh, so yeah, that was a healthy dose of anger I had today. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it there for now, guys. Uh, tomorrow we're heading home, so I'll be back in my usual kind of studio in, in my spare bedroom. Um, but yeah, okay. I hope you guys have a great bank holiday weekend. I'll see you tomorrow.